Hi everyone. We're going to find the first and second derivative of ln of x squared minus 5x. So we'll get started and take the first derivative. Just recall that the derivative of ln of x, so y prime of ln of x, normally it's just 1 over x. So what we're going to do is take uh, the derivative of this, so y prime, and we when act like this is x, so this is 1 over what our x is, which is x squared minus 5x. Then you have to multiply it by this part right here. So the part right in here is going to be 2x minus 5. So the first derivative is going to be 2x minus 5 divided by x squared minus 5x. All right, that's your chain rule using your inner and outer functions. All right, now we're going to take the second derivative. And so we're going to look at this, just recall that f of x, when f of x equals uh, u of x, over v of x, we're going to use the quotient property, then the derivative would be, the derivative of x would be u prime of x times vx minus ux times the derivative of v of x, and then you just take your denominator, vx and square it. So we're going to use the quotient property on this. In this case, this would be your ux, and the denominator would be vx. So let's take the start taking the second derivative. So uh, y double prime equals the derivative of u, which is 2x minus 5 here, which is going to be 2 times my uh, vx. My vx is x squared minus 5x. All right, then you say minus, and the minus is going to be uh, ux, which is 2x minus 5, times the derivative of v of x, which is 2x minus 5. And then you just take your denominator, which is x squared minus 5x, and square it. Now we're going to simplify all this. I'll do it on the next page, so make sure you write this down. I'm going to distribute here and um, treat this as a minus b squared, because there's just two of the same ones. So what you get is uh, y double prime equals 2x squared minus 10x minus uh, 4x squared minus 20x plus 10. And then in my denominator, I had uh, x squared minus 5x squared. Now, we clean up the numerator a little bit, you get 2x squared minus 10x minus 4x squared plus 20x minus 10. And if you want to, I don't know how far you want to go with this, but you can go ahead and um, foil that out. This would be your a minus b squared formula two, again. So that's going to be x to the fourth minus 2ab, which is going to be 10x uh, squared. And then square the last part. So that's going to be uh, plus, this is going to be cubed, plus 25x squared. All right? So then what you're going to get is um, clean up the numerator some more, and you're going to get negative 2x squared plus 10x, um, so minus 10x, sorry. 
no, because this is 20x, so we have, um, I was right, so it's going to be plus 10x minus 10 divided by x to the fourth minus 10x cubed plus 25x squared. And that would be if you simplified it all the way. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.